Now what's extreme about Mike's computer is not one specific thing. This is just a top level beast. It's a Core i9 with a 3090 Ti in a Lian Li case with gold RAM. You can't really get much better than this. I'm Josh Evans from Cataclysm Computers. Welcome to the Extreme PC Showcase. I want to show you some extreme computers that we build. These are all top level beasts. Most of them are going to be built in a case like this, a Lian Li case. This is Mike's new computer and it's got a little bit of everything from the top level and I want to show you exactly what goes into it, what we did to make it a little bit special, a few features I really love and tell you what you can expect out of it. We're also going to make a video of this on the benchmark. So check out the YouTube page, click on the benchmark and you'll see a few videos of PCs like this running some games. Now, just before we get into the specs, I did mention in the Instagram and Facebook stories that I'd explained this drama to you. Now, this is a 3090 Ti, so it's got one of those weird um, new connectors that Nvidia is throwing on these graphics cards. So to get the drama to look nice, we've literally just had to cable tie it back on itself. So we've got the drama sitting here, and there is actually the three pin connection back here that's plugged into this slot. Now this is like a, a 12 pin, it's a weird connector. It's not a normal PCI Express one. It's the new style that they put on the 3090 Ti's. You also found it on some of the uh, like Galax 3070s for example, and uh, on the Founders Edition cards. I'll turn the PC around just a little bit so you can see. Now you can see just there, we've kind of cable tied it back on itself. This is as good as you can really get if you're gonna use a 3090 Ti like this with the Strama cables. Okay, so if you're looking for an extreme PC in a Lian Li case, there are two options for the processor. Now, the first one is what we've got in here. We've got the Core i9-12900KF processor. That's the best gaming processor that you can get, but it is on par with the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Now, we've got the Core i9 in here. That's what Mike wanted. He wanted a Core i9, and it's liquid-cooled by the Z73 NZXT Kraken, which you do see in most of our PCs at this kind of level. Looks really cool, you put your GIFs on there. At the minute we've got this, this rainbow effect, but you can show the CPU and GPU temperatures as well. Uh, the graphics card is an RTX 3090 Ti. So now like I just showed you, we've got the Strama cables plugged in there, but these come with a special 12 pin RTX PCI Express cable from Nvidia. So this is the box for the graphics card here. It is a, a monster of a graphics card. It's a hollow black edition, it's an Amp hollow. So they're an extreme graphics card. It's, it's overclocked from the factory. It has a really nice RGB strip just here. Now, speaking of RGB, while we're talking about the graphics card, we have just set everything to this rainbow effect. It seems to be what most people like. I mean, you can change this to purple, blue, red, pink, white, whatever you want to do, but I really like the hollow block on this. It looks really cool. It's very bright for a graphics card's RGB. We have turned it down just a little bit. It does get brighter. The RAM is pretty special. Now you might not be able to see it from this angle, but Jeremy will be um, showing some cinematics of this PC and probably while I'm talking right now, you can see that it's gold RAM, it's literally gold. So this is called the G-Skill Trident Royal. And the addition that we've got in here is a four by eight stick kit. And uh, that's 3,600 megahertz, 32 gig RAM. So the reason we've got that RAM is because we've got the Asus TUF Z690 Plus Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. Now the reason I use that one is A, it's just my favorite board because it works. There are no issues of it. It's got all the features that you need. But it's also DDR4 and you get to use Asus Armory Crate. Now on the DDR4 situation, the RAM is obviously DDR4. I still recommend DDR4 even if you're using the 12th gen Intel processors, which is the only generation that can currently use DDR5 anyway. But I don't recommend DDR5 because it's just a little bit of a waste of money for you. If you're playing games specifically, you will never see a difference between DDR4 and DDR5 on this generation. The reason is twofold. So first up, your processor is not gonna be the weakest link in your PC these days. We're all using 1440p high refresh rate monitors, or you've got a 4K monitor, especially for a PC like this, you know, this is something you'd pair with a 4K monitor. You're gonna find that the graphics card is the weakest link. Now, either the processor or the graphics card has to be the weakest link. In this case, you want it to be the graphics card because you can just dial down the graphics settings in game and get better FPS. If your processor is the weakest link, there's nothing you can do about it. RAM speed just increases the speed of the processor. So if you're gonna get DDR5 RAM, you're essentially, it's like upgrading your processor. The Core i9 is already good enough. Don't bother going for DDR5 RAM if you're playing games. Some guys that are doing 3D modeling or some kind of rendering, you do occasionally use DDR5 RAM's benefits, but if you're gaming, don't bother. And the power supply, I've actually forgotten, so let me just check it. It looks like it's an MSI. Yep, so that's an MSI MPG A1000G power supply. So they're a really good unit. They're a thousand watts, of course. It is gold rated and it comes with a 10 year warranty. So if you wanna get a thousand watt power supply, that's one that you can get that's not too expensive. It's actually like the same price as a lot of the 850s, uh, but it's a thousand watt, so. It's, uh, it's good for the future. If you want to put a 4090 in there, you don't know what they're going to use. A thousand watts is a, a safe bet for you. Now, Mike's gone pretty crazy on the storage in this PC. We've got a main SSD, which is a Gen 4 Corsair, two terabytes, an MP600 core Gen 4. They do five gigs per second. But for some extra storage, 
Mike's got a 12 terabyte Seagate Barracuda Pro in there. So if you want to put movies or photos or any you know standard files that don't need very fast speeds, just put it on a hard drive. So a 12 terabyte hard drive is in this one. You can get those at varying prices, anywhere from three to five hundred dollars. Depends when you get it, what you get, but the Seagate Barracuda Pro is perfect just for your average files. Now the case is kind of self-explanatory. It's a Lian Li PC-011 Dynamic Evo Black Edition tower case. These are, in my opinion, better than the XLs. A lot of people ask for the XL because it's bigger, but you, you don't really get any benefit out of that. Uh, most parts are gonna fit inside this PC very easily. Now, this is an all-in-one unit for the liquid cooler, so there's no need for extra space for tubes, etc. This is perfect for an all-in-one PC with a 3090 Ti. More than enough room in there. You've got 10 of the SL120 Uni fans. And uh, if you haven't seen those before, it's, you know, these fans here. Uh, they are the ones with the hexagon RGB shape on the outside. There's no other fans that are really giving you this kind of style. And if you have a Lian Li case, you're pretty much going to want to go for Lian Li fans. They are the best. Some people also like the Corsair QL fans. We did that in a mini PC pretty recently. I still like Lian Li SL120 fans. So if that's you, this is how it looks. And we've of course got the Lian Li Strama Plus ARGB cables there. So that's the graphics card one, which we plugged into the 3090 Ti. And you've got the 24 pin one here for the motherboard. So it's really simple. They just light up, you can change the color. At the minute, we've got it set to this rainbow effect, same as the fans. Now what Mike did to get this PC is he just had a chat to me on Facebook and over the course of like three to five months, I think it was, we were just having a chat on and off. And when he was finally ready for one, we worked something out. So originally he said like, you know, 10, 11 grand, but uh, I don't like wasting any money. And I think this is, as good as you can possibly get for gaming without wasting any money. You've got a 3090 Ti and a Core i9. So this thing is around about $9,000 at the minute. That's in Australia, so it's AUD. It is not USD. A lot of you guys that message on YouTube think we're in America for some reason. We're in Australia, it's Australian prices. The price will change massively depending on when you get it. So that price is consistent with today. Um, but if you go towards the end of the year, it could be higher, it could be lower. I don't really know what's gonna happen with the graphics cards. If you are interested in getting a PC, but you're not sure if you should wait for the 40 series graphics cards, which is kind of what, you know, the situation Mike was in, I don't recommend that you wait because we've seen what's happened with the 20 series and the 30 series. It seems to be, now this is just a spe bit of speculation, it seems to be that when they bring out the 40 series graphics cards, they either stop or slow down the creation of the 30 series graphics cards. So people very quickly realize that there is not very much stock of the 40 series, for example and then uh, the 30 series are not being made quite as much so there is less stock of that that drives up the prices of both 40 series and 30 series and then that passes on to the 20 series and the 16 series and you're going to find that if they release the 40 series graphics cards later this year and there is not very much stock which is pretty much guaranteed to happen you're going to find that you have to pay more for things like the 3090 ti 3080 and then when they sell out because people can't get graphics cards the 2070 supers are going to come back and be like twice the price that might happen, it might not, I don't know, but for that reason, I recommend that you don't wait because I'd rather be playing on a 3090 Ti right now and playing games for the next six to 12 months and enjoying myself rather than waiting six months for maybe getting a 4080 or something that might get you more FPS. But I mean, 3090 Ti is getting 200 plus FPS on pretty much any game you play. Even on 4K, you can get like 200 FPS. You don't really need any more. So that's my opinion. If you're not sure whether to get a PC right now, that's my take on it check out uh, Jay's Two Cents as well. He's got some opinions on it. He thinks you should not be waiting. Prices are really good at the minute. So if you're on the fence, just have a chat and I can work something out for you. If it fits the budget and it's gonna get you the FPS that you need, I wouldn't wait, I'll just get something now. So to get a PC, just like Mike did, go to the website, cataclysm.com.au, go to the form, which is just at the top. It says 100% custom, click that, and you can get yourself a custom PC. I'll make sure that it looks the way that you like. Uh, it's got all the parts in there that you need to get the best FPS and it's going to be at your budget. So have a chat to me, even if you're not quite ready, and I'll recommend a few things for you.